Hi, today I want to show you how to use uh, the Fly Touch, uh, my super pad, to control the uh, media center. What you can you see, you are seeing here is the media portal. It's a uh, one of the uh, it's a open source free uh, media center. You can watch TV, video, slideshow, listen to music, and. Yeah, that's what. Uh, and what I'm, what I have installed is the iPim, iPim plugin, which allows you to control, to use the website to control the media center. So uh, here's the fly touch pad. So first of all, I have to go to a browser, and I already enter the IP address of that machine so it's using port 82 so what I need to do is log in I created this user called home and so I have to enter a password go so and Actually, this one wasn't working. Uh, I was about to show you it doesn't work, but now somehow it, it's working. So this side, uh, I had a problem with connect to the media portal client, uh, which means that's the machine over there. So now I want to show you. Uh, this uh, plugin allows you to stream video to this device as well, but it doesn't. At the moment, I couldn't find a way to get it work. The streaming is TV streaming is not working, but uh, I tested on my iPhone. The streaming is uh, doing well. So, what I want to show you is to, uh, what is working is uh, the remote control. So, media portal client. So, there's a remote control here. Say, remote control so you can see a remote control pad and look at this the other screen if I press up and, and yes it's moving over there press down it's moving over there so this one is just a website using a standard browser so and I can go to here so you got other choices like listen to music then it's changing the music uh, so I can go go back to the other control so it's running I can pause it doesn't work oh, press pause again it's just continue yeah. I can stop it and basically it's just acting as a remote control let me go back to this one uh, go to TV guy so you can see TV guy over there and I can just turn on the TV let me try that Okay, you can see TV is running. Stop it. Go to here. Say yes, I want to stop it. Stop the TV. So that's all about remote control. What there are more thing you can do with the IPIM. Go to home. So here you can see all the menu. You can access it different menu from here as well let's say I want to uh, listen to music and I can press my music and search for year and so what you can see is these are all the music on that machine so let's say if I select this one and press play. So it's playing over there. 
And of course I can go back to the remote control to stop the music. Remote control. Stop. Okay. I can stop the music. Go back to home. So all TV, uh, I can record TV and as I just mentioned before, the uh, TV streaming is not working on this uh, fly touch. So, and if I go to my video, at the moment it's not, it's saying there's no video at all. I don't know, but there, there are actual video on that machine. So I still haven't figured out what's wrong with that. So uh, there's also a now playing. If I play, press on it, uh, my media uh, center crashes. So I still don't have any idea. And there's a send message. It's quite funny thing. So I can press enter message. Say hello and go and submit. Oh, you can see. The, that's the message. Basically, you can do everything what you can do on other machine as well. You can use this as a remote control. You have access to the database. Let's say I want to see what is all recorded on the other machine. I can go to here, record the TV this week, and it's showing me I recorded this program. I recorded this program. Uh, if the streaming is working, I can basically press on, uh, click on the here and play it. But I can show you it's not working. It's buffering. Let's say I play it. It doesn't look like it's working. Okay, go back to home. Ah, so streaming is not working. You can have access to TV guide here as well. All channel. Yeah, I can see the TV guide here. And so I can do everything. Uh, basically, this is just a normal browser. I enter the IP address of the my media center machine, so I can use it as a remote control to uh, control my media machine, or I can I have access to my music, my video here. Uh, streaming is not working, but I can uh, select my music and then play on that machine. Okay, that's all about the fly touch using IPIM to control the media center, media portal. Thank you for watching. Bye.